are getting new staggering information about the enormous impact of the heroin epidemic. The sheer number of overdose cases is startling. WWT News 5's Todd Dykes live downtown where city leaders, Todd, are about to get the update from the health department. It is not good. What are they going to talk about? Yeah, Lisa, numbers that are not encouraging. That's the bottom line. Councilwoman Yvette Simpson's office released numbers this morning that point to rising heroin and opioid overdoses here in Cincinnati. It's only mid-September, but the city's overdose rate has already surpassed the number of ODs that Cincinnati saw all of last year. Now, last year, health officials counted 1,676 overdoses, including 107 deadly cases. So far this year, there have been 1,733 overdoses with 122 deaths. Now, just a a few days ago, WWT joined an unprecedented nationwide special called State of Addiction. That's when I had a chance to talk about where things stand with experts on addiction. And despite today's bleak numbers, one treatment specialist I talked to remains hopeful. I think that um, we are going in the right direction. Now, obviously, the mortality is, is quite high and climbing, but we are, we are building the full spectrum of services. So while expert, experts do think better days are ahead, everyone knows our region really is in crisis uh, mode at the moment when it comes to the fight against heroin. That's why city health leaders uh, will talk about the overdose numbers with council members this afternoon and about efforts to try and reverse the trend. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. We have